In many situations, writing a fraction in simplest terms may be required or just beneficial to know. It's important to note that a simplified fraction is also an equivalent fraction to that original fraction. Usually, when wanting to identify an equivalent fraction, one uses multiplication and comes up with a new denominator that is usually a higher number which results in the size of the parts being smaller. However, to write a fraction in simplest terms means to write it so that numerator and denominator have no common whole number factors. But what if a student or anyone doesn't know which factor or number to divide by? What if they aren't fluent or efficient with their division facts yet? List out the factors of each number, make a factor tree, and see which factors they have in common. To determine their factors, think about what numbers can be multiplied to create each of those numbers as a product. So to create 3 as a product, we need to multiply 1 times 3 and 3 times 1. To create 6 as a product, you can multiply 1 times 6, 2 times 3, 3 times 2, or 6 times 1. From here, you can see what numbers are repeated. Those represent the factors of each of the numbers. So for 3, the factors are 1 and 3. For 6, the factors are 1, 2, 3, and 6. What do they have in common? They have the number 1 in common, and they have the number 3 in common. 3 is the greatest common factor that they have. So we're going to use 3 to divide both the numerator and the denominator by equally. 3 divided by 3 equals 1. 6 divided by 3 equals 2. So a simplified fraction for 3 6 is 1 half. Let's repeat those steps to find a simplified fraction for 5 20th. Let's list out the factors for the number 5 and the number 20 again by creating a factor tree for both. To create 5 as a product, we can multiply 1 times 5 and 5 times 1. To create 20 as a product, we can multiply 1 times 20, 2 times 10, 4 times 5, 5 times 4, 10 times 2, and 20 times 1 we see which numbers are repeated to be represented as factors. Which ones do they have in common? 1 and 5. 5 is their greatest common factor, so we will use 5 to divide the numerator and denominator by equally. 5 divided by 5 is 1, and 20 divided by 5 is 4. A simplified fraction for 5 twentieths is 1 fourth. Continue using the strategy of finding common factors with students and learners in order for them to visually see which factors both numbers have in common so that they can choose the appropriate one to divide the numerator and denominator by equally. Encourage them to keep doing this until they're comfortable with both their multiplication and division facts. Once the learner is comfortable and more fluent and efficient with their division facts, they can divide using mental math. 
And yes, even fractions greater than one can be written in its simplest term. If you don't know how to convert a fraction greater than one into a mixed number or teach that to students, check out my video on the different ways to convert a fraction greater than one into mixed numbers.